Preservation of bridges has been a major topic in Texas and around the nation. The Texas Department of Transportation and the Center for Transportation Research investigated ways to extend the life of bridge decks, commonly known as the surface of a bridge, all while keeping the same safety standards for the driving public. Bridge deck performance is the number one uh, costly item in terms of maintenance, uh, so therefore anything we can do uh, to improve the durability of concrete decks uh, reduce the construction of concrete decks uh, is something that is going to be a long-term benefit uh, for the state of Texas, for the country, and certainly the taxpayers funding this research, as well as many others. All of our decks are reinforced with, um, with reinforcing steel or fiber reinforced bar. Um, and and the, this project was essentially hoping to remove some of those reinforcing bars and, and replace them with steel fibers. Uh, steel fibers have been used in other locations to, to essentially replace reinforcing steel, but we hadn't done that in on a tech stock project before. This research was conducted at Ferguson Structural Engineering Laboratory. Uh, we had a number of tests that we performed. Uh, so these are bridge deck strips uh, that are in, uh, in their actual dimensions in an effort to eliminate the adverse effects of uh, scaling, as well as a, a large test in which we had a multi-girder uh, superstructure supporting uh, the bridge deck. Uh, different applications of ashto uh, loading configurations uh, where the truck loads are applied, challenging the bridge deck to under different circumstances. We're happy with the results of of the uh, of the research. We're pursuing a pilot here in the Austin district, a uh, pilot to to see what uh, what field conditions are and and how uh, fibers being placed on a bridge deck would perform. With, with Texas contractors on a TxDOT project. It is not intended to uh, basically uh, stop the use of current bridge deck details. It is intended to put one more tool in the toolbox uh, to where when there is a need for a better bridge deck performance, this may be up in the panhandle uh, where we use de-icing salts uh, or uh, cases in which we have a marine environment at play. Uh, in those cases, having that tool in the toolbox uh, will give uh, bridge designers uh, the much needed uh, sort of array of tools that they can use in detailing the bridge decks. A bridge deck is, is like the roof on a house uh, where it provides uh, the primary protection, the first mode of the first uh, mode for protection uh, against chlorides, against uh, contaminants and against uh, deterioration. Um, we, it's important to, to try to preserve the bridge deck. Um, so trying to find a way to reduce that mode of deterioration uh, within bridge deck was important to us. TxDOT's research program has uh, proven to be a great benefit uh, to the state and really and truly uh, the bridge industry in the, in the country and around the world. Uh, the research program that is always looking into ways of improving practices, uh, improving structural performance, reducing cost, all of those items come as a huge benefit to, uh, to the state. So uh, I particularly feel lucky uh, to be involved in TxDOT's research program and contributing uh, to new findings uh, one piece at a time. For more information and to find the publication for this project, please visit the TxDOT Research Library at the link shown below.